A fleet of China's finest frigates sailing towards the Mediterranean. Yang Chung is a guided missile warship. It's part of the 16th Chinese Naval Escort Task Force. It will provide an additional layer of protection to the Nordic vessels that will be carrying the chemical cargo. China's doing this to push forward the political resolution of the Syrian issue. It's part of China's responsibility for maintaining world peace and security as one of the UN Security Council permanent members. The Cypriot port of Limassol has been transformed into a stage for countries taking part in the Syria mission. It started with the Danish and the Norwegians. But in the last few days, we've seen the Russians here and the Chinese are expected soon. All of this reflects the international desire to be part of the removal process, not just on paper, but for these countries to have a visible presence at the heart of the operation. The deal to destroy more than a thousand tons of chemical warfare agents represents a rare policy upon which the UN Security Council's five permanent members and the Syrian government can agree. The organization overseeing the chemical removal mission believes its success could be a catalyst for further cooperation, despite this week's failure to meet the 31st of December deadline for the removal of Syria's most dangerous chemicals. We are still on track for meeting the ultimate and only important deadline in the world process. This is the deadline of 30th of June 2014, at which date Syrian chemical weapons program must have been and will be forever dismantled. The BBC is the only foreign crew to board the Norwegian cargo vessel Tycho. Special containers have been kitted out with the essential protective and medical equipment. The Norwegian crew aren't anticipating any problems at the port, but they are prepared for the worst. I think it would be a combination of a gunshot wound combined with pollution from one of the chemical agents. The Alawite heartland of Latakia, when the convoy of Russian armoured trucks arrives at the location where the chemical containers are due to be collected, there is now likely to be an international battalion of warships waiting in these waters. Anna Holligan, BBC News, Limassol.